This video is brought to you by buyptcgocodes.com. It's a great source to buy all your codes to play the Pokemon trading card game online. As you can see, they have a large variety of codes at reasonable prices, and they provide instant email delivery on purchase. If you make a purchase, if you use the code CABIGON5, you'll receive 5% off your order. Check them out and let them know I sent you. What is up, everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. Got a new set today. I'm excited, uh, but it's been a bit of a disaster. We have uh, Dark Phantasma here. Got this. I got a couple more boxes as well. This is the one I got from the Pokemon Center lottery, but I don't know. Maybe we don't need to do that going forward because it seems like it's pretty easy to get everywhere I went. They had it today, and I, I went and got some last night from a convenience store, and all the places I looked at today had it, and... I did pre-order some other boxes, but problem with the Pokemon Center, they charge you postage, so it's actually more expensive to get it from there. So would prefer to to not do it that way. But the the bit of the disaster that I've had is that my computer just hasn't been working. So I actually recorded a video at like midnight last night. It's now about 9 p.m. on the launch day, and I haven't even uploaded one video yet. I'm trying to do it, but the computer just wasn't turning on. It was messing around. Anyway, it's on now. It's recording, hopefully, what I'm saying. And yes, we'll get the videos up eventually, but it's really annoying. Why does it happen on launch day? So annoying. Anyway, uh, we've got Dark Phantasma. These boxes only have 20 packs, but we get a lot of hits. We have character rares, etc. We have the, what are they? Sparkling, shining, radiant. I don't know. It depends what you want to call them. Pokemon. Let's see what we get anyway. I'm excited to see what we got. Ooh, Zerua, we didn't see you in the brief opening we did yesterday, I don't think. We got a Pikachu. Very cute. I think I was calling Gudra Sligu in the video yesterday. So, yeah. It was like really late at night. Forgive me. Ooh, all right. Nice start. We've got the Hisuian Zoroark. First pack. All right, so... This seems pretty good, but the V star is the one that uh, that people really are excited about. I believe oh, I have to open the new sleeves. But this one's still pretty good. Colorless type does. I have to sleeve it up. Does thirty damage for the first attack for no energy, and you switch it onto the bench. That's pretty good, I guess. Shadow Cyclone, 130 damage. And then you move one energy from this Pokemon onto a bench Pokemon. Okay, interesting. The V-Star seems good, though. So, that's... I mean, you need the V to get the V-Star, obviously, but that's a good start. Now, uh, it seems like none of the cards are crazily expensive in this set. We got Arceus Phone. What does this say? You look at the top card of your deck, and then you can switch it with a prize card, I think is what it says. I'm not 100% sure. I have to do some more uh, detailed digging into what everything does. Oh, yes. Snorlax. Look at this boy. I'm super happy with that. And we get a ghost. We get a little ghost. All right. I'm going to sleep this Snorlax. It's going in the Snorlax binder. I like the artwork. Very cute. There is a character rare. When I saw that they had this rare, I was like, please let there be a Cubbygon character rare. And there is. So, very excited about that. I will take as many of them as possible. There is only six character rares, so uh, between the three boxes we have, we should be able to get all of them. And we got a couple of them yesterday as well, so... See how we go. All right, we got the sisters. We got a Gengar. There is a Gengar character rare as well, which I would really like to get. Oh, yes. All right. Pikachu. We did actually get this yesterday, but of all the character rares, this is the only one that's actually worth anything. Seems like it's about 10-ish bucks. So you definitely want to get the Pikachu. And he's cute. I like the artwork. Really nice. I love the character rares. They really do look good. It's just such a nice bonus. Like, I'm more happy to get them than these. Uh, but, yeah. Depending on, on the set and the card, obviously, the value differs a lot. Like, I saw some card shops today on the launch day are paying, like, 
seven, eight dollars for that Pikachu, but all the rest of them are like 50 cents. So they, they should all be very cheap to get, hopefully. But like I said, there's only six. We should get them all between our boxes. All right, what have we got? All right, so it's a Gudra, not a Sligu, as I was saying yesterday. Oh, all right. What a pack. There he is, big boy, Snorlax. All right, I'm very happy with this box so far. All right, we need some space for this boy. He's big, he's beefy, he's chowing down on some snacks. And um, this eh, Gudra, the V star is like crazy annoying. We'll talk about it if we get it, but basically it makes you take 80 less damage on your next turn. And then the V star ability lets you fully heal it. So it's going to be hard to knock out. And it has like, I guess, 280 HP. I'll have to double check if we see it. But yes. And um, what I was saying before, a lot of the cards are not particularly expensive in this set. So I'm wondering if it'll be like Battle Region where it's not so, so popular and it will kind of go down in value. We'll see. All right. What have we got in this one? Ooh, wow. All right. That looks intense. Steelix. And a Raichu. Shiny Raichu. Well, not shiny. Hollow. This is shiny. That is an intense looking card. Very nice. Steelix, he's got energy stream, does 20, and it puts two discarded metal energy from the discard onto this Pokemon. And then finishing break, it does 60 plus, And then you draw all your cards until you have one left. And for each energy, it does 30 damage. So that's a crazy, like, last attack of the game, which hence the name finish break so it could be a closer but you want to have you want to have some energy left that is for sure all right um i guess we'll put regular hollows here because we're going to run out of space there is a lot of stuff so we got the steelix the gardevoir is the one you want to get value wise i don't know which one will be the most playable uh you can only have one of these in your deck but yes they look good though Got the mysterious box. Get down there. I'm going to talk more about what all the cards do as I go through all the boxes. But for now, I just want to kind of actually look at it. We'll talk about the Vs and stuff. But every single trainer card and stuff, maybe not just because it makes the video too long, you know. But the notable ones, I will I will tell you. Oop, all right. I see a glimmer. We might have something. SR in this pack. I don't know. I saw a glimmer of something. Wait a minute. You go there. All right. What is in this pack? I think we got something. Oh, no. All right. Oh, dear. It's happened to me. We got the big wooden ball. So... He's interesting. The Electrode. He's got an attack for zero energy, which does 100 times uh, each special condition that your opponent's Pokemon has. No, that this Pokemon has, sorry. So you have to put some status conditions on yourself, right? And then Solar Shoot. 120. You have to... Discard the energy from this Pokemon, I think it says. Alright, it's probably not my ideal... Uh, hit, but we could still get a two hit box. It's possible. But I'm very happy with the character rares, and I'm very happy with the the Steelix so far. So we'll see. Let's see if we can't get another one. All right, we get damage pump. So this is the thing that's going to be used with the with the Zoroark. Oh, nice. Speaking of, very good. All right, so it says like. Uh, each one of your Pokemon that has a damage counters on it, this does 50 times damage, which is pretty sweet. And uh, obviously with that damage pump, it says you can put, you can move two damage counters, I think, from one Pokemon. Oh, well, we got an Arcanine in the same pack. So yeah, you can do a lot of damage potentially, like pretty easily. 
with that. And then it's got Phantom Star, which lets you discard your hand and draw seven cards. Obviously, you can only use that once a game, but that is very good. So the damage pump works with that. And we got this sweet Arcanine. We haven't seen this yet. His Suyin Arcanine. Very nice looking card. Um, I'm a little bit concerned, though, because we already have three character rares and a couple of hits and two... No, one V-Star and our Radiant, Sparkling, whatever you want to call it. And we have a lot of packs left to go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We only open eight packs. There might be a lot of dead packs in here, unless we get another bonus hit. Let's see. So we might just kind of smash through this. I don't know if it's possible to get more than one of the Radiant, Sparkling ones. All right, we got... Uh, what's the name again? Um... Volo. And we got a reverse damage pump. Volo seems pretty good. Let's you put a benched V into your discard pile, which is pretty good. Get rid of those crowbats and stuff that you don't want on your bench. That's pretty decent. Seems like that will be a pretty useful card. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling like there's going to be a lot of dry packs in this box. Oops. Oh, all right. We got the, the regular Zoroark. That's a nice artwork. Well, not the regular one. The Hisuian one, but the regular version. And we got a ghost. The only problem with these boxes is, like, so many piles of stuff I need to put everywhere. All right. Yeah, we're only halfway through the box, and look at all the stuff we already have. This is kind of ridiculous. All right. Oh, we got a Glade. Okay. And a Basculin. I'm noticing some print lines on these cards, though, which is not ideal. Um, they've gone back to the old print lines. So what does Glade do? Rising Sword, 20 plus. I think it's the amount of prizes you've taken. It does 50 times damage. And then Buster Swing, 130. But you can't use it on the next turn. All right, so again, a, a kind of a, a late game uh, card, I suppose. Uh, I have no space. <laughs> I've already got too many piles of stuff. So we might not get many more hits out of this box. It's really going weird. I'm hoping that we just get a double hit box. Otherwise, it might be a bit slow, the last bit. All right, we got a Crobat. And we got a Miss... Miss Magius, Miss Trevious, Miss Magius. I can't remember which one. Shut up. It's been a long day. <laughs> Leave me alone. I can't remember all of them. All right. Miss Magius. That's what it is, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we haven't really hit much for a little bit. We got a butterfly. And we got a... Little crab. I was trying to think, what is he? Is he, a, is he a mushroom or a crab? He's the... Isn't it like the lore of like the Parasect is that like the mushroom is the actual Pokemon and it's just in a crab's body or something? I, I think it was something like that. All right. We need to get some more hits, but like I said, there he is. With his soulless eyes. Oh, all right. Magnezone. I haven't really thought about him, Mr. Mime. So Magnazone, the V-Star seems pretty good as well, actually. What does this second attack do? 90 damage and then put 30 damage on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. It's pretty good. Yeah, the Magnazone um, V-Star is quite good as well. All right, we'll put it down there. So honestly, like, we might only have one V-Star left to get out of this. So yes. The, if we picked the top half of this box, we would have been doing Got a Machamp. We've got an Ape Palm. All right, only five more to go. It feels like we've opened a lot more packs just because we have so much stuff already. But the, the hits do come out pretty fast and furious in the in these special sets. We got another damage pump. Basque Legion. And we got the three sisters as a reverse. 
The full art of them looks pretty interesting. I still want to get the Gengar character rare as well. We haven't seen that yet. That was one of my ones that I really wanted to get. Okay. Yeah, a couple more packs to go. We should still have one more V-Star, right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. All right. Speaking of... Ooh, that's cute. In a reverse. It's kind of hard to see that. There you go. So we got the Gudra V-Star. So like I said, it can do 200 damage and it takes 80 less damage on the next turn. And then also it has the Moist Star ability, which sounds gross, uh, which heals all damage from that Pokemon. But that, that might be it for this box. Unless we sneak another character rare or another SR, we might be done. It was all very fast at the beginning and then it kind of slowed down. All right, and we have another Gudra. And we got a reverse Parasect. Okay, two more packs to go. Very interesting distribution. Ooh, I saw something glimmering back there. It might be a hollow. What is it? It's another Snorlax. I'll take it. Very good. And a Gumi. Double Snorlax, triple Snorlax box, because we got the uh, the character rare one as well. I'm going to sleeve him because he's Snorlax. All right, last pack. Can we get another hit or are we done? We might have a bonus one in here. Oh, ooh, whoo. All right, that's an interesting looking... Uh, character enamorous it's called lubtorus in japanese um i'm just trying to see what it actually does so the attack is pretty good 100 damage and you accelerate two energy onto your bench pokemon from your discard that's pretty good the ability, I will have to double check what it does. All right, I'm happy with the box. I think it was pretty good. Uh, let's very quickly recap what we got. So, ah, so much stuff. All right. So we got our hollows. We got two Snorlax, which was the main thing. I'm not going to go through everything, but yeah, we got two Snorlax, which I'm happy with. All right. Okay. Let's just randomly go through these because we got a lot of stuff. All right, so Gudra V Star. We got Magnazone V. We got Zoroark V Star. We got Zoroark V. Oops. They go together. We got the Arcanine character rare. We got Pikachu character rare. We got <laughs> Enamorous. We got a Glade V. We got the Steelix. Shiny boy. We got the Snorlax. Yay. Got Electrode, Electrode, Full Art, and we got our Gudra. So what do we get? Four Vs, five, five Vs, two V stars, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, there's a lot of hits in these boxes, that's for sure. All right, that's the first box. We got a couple more to redeem ourselves, but I'm pretty happy with how it went overall. We got the the kind of the the decent cards we were looking for. Anyway, let me know what you think of the new set, guys. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you in the next one. Take it easy.